Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Deke J. Wilson STEM video. We want to pick up where we left off on uh, making a balsa wood dragster. Okay, um, at this point, we've already drawn our blueprints, we've already uh, used the bandsaw to cut out the, the general shape, we've used the belt and disc sander to sand it down. And now we're going to do that uh, next level of sanding, which is uh, using an orbital sander to sand, um, to do some more fine tuned sanding of our shape and our design. Again, remember when you're sanding with the belt and disc sander, you're, taking, you're trying to take off quite a bit of material. However, when you're using the orbital, you're taking off less material that's for fine tuning, but then your last step obviously is for the um, is using actual sandpaper and using fine sandpaper to uh, um, smooth out your work and to finish your work. All right. So obviously, just as always, uh, make sure you have your safety glasses on. Make sure that um, before you even plug up your belt and disc, I mean your your orbital sander, make sure that it's in the off position, um, which it is. Then plug it up. And then, whenever you're, I always tell all my students, whenever you're turning on your belt and disc sander, make sure you hold it by both hands. And then when you turn it on, and hopefully you'll hear me over the belt and disc sander, but when you turn it on, make sure you hold it with both hands and then pick up your material. Same thing when you turn it off. Make sure to hold it with both, turn it off, and then you're ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna sand, uh, my, my goal is to start sanding down some of these sharp edges here. Okay, making sure that my sides are nice and smooth. Okay, like any uh, ridges that were cut into it, I'm gonna sand those out. Okay, and make sure that um, I'm really going to really, really try to streamline my, my, my vehicle now. All right, so here we go. holding the orbital sander in one place. I'm constantly moving it around. That's what you want to do. You want to move your orbital sander around so that you can polish out some of these uh, divots that you might have had from the bandsaw. Okay? Oh, yeah. Those are coming out real nice right there. Those are coming out really good. different. It sounds like I'm in a bigger, larger area. Well, because of the fact that I am using the orbital stand and I don't have it hooked up to like any exhaust system or anything like that, you want to make sure to do this in an open area.
in my classroom, one year I allowed students to uh, use the orbital standards in a classroom. And uh, I can tell you that caused a big mess. Huge mess. I have uh, over 12 orbital standards. And um, you can imagine, just by looking at the table right here, what 12 orbital standards will do as far as uh, kicking up sawdust in the air. And I tell you, I was cleaning sawdust out of my classroom for a while. So it was at that particular point in time that I decided no more orbital standards in the classroom. We're going to use uh, them on my docker, on the dock area outside of my classroom. I'm very fortunate that I have a, a, a classroom that's made up of several different rooms. And so one of those rooms is right off the back, is uh, off the loading dock area. And so um, many times we'll go out there and we'll, we'll do some work. All right, you know what? I'm going to sand off the, the bottom of this a little bit more. And then after that, uh, I am going to um, uh, use my hand sander, my regular sandpaper, and then... Um, we're going to insert the straws and wheels. Again, I'm not going to go through all the painting like I, like, like I normally would, but I do want to at least show you some of the basic, basic things, okay, on how to do this sander, okay? Or actually, how to build this dragster. I'm going to finish up this a little bit more, and uh, you can uh, maybe use uh, the, the, the sound of the mouse sander as maybe some white noise in the background and maybe listening to, uh, to me. Um, humming something. Maybe this will give a little bit of a background noise to your to your room or to your work. Now again, remember, even now, <coughs> as I'm standing. I'm not sanding to finish. That's what hand, that's what the sandpaper is for. I'm still sanding down to my basic shape. That's what I want to do. Sand down to my basic shape. And then I'll use sandpaper. To get everything else done. Move out this top part a little bit. Now, something that I do find helpful is if you put your vehicle down, okay, and you look at it as if it's sitting straight. Okay, you can see if anything is off, if, if it's not symmetrical, because again, you want a nice symmetrical vehicle. Okay, nice symmetrical engineered vehicle. Okay, so you want to take a look at its shape. Right now, this side is just maybe a, a couple millimeters higher than this side. So I'm going to sand that down. Okay.
there we are. The nice um, dragster. And again, this is uh, one of the final stages of finishing, but we're not done yet. Again, we're going to use sandpaper to smooth it out. Okay. Um, and once we get, once we finish with that sandpaper, that's when we're, that's when we're done. Okay. Typically, you want to use a couple different grains of sandpaper. You want to use a, a heavier grain first to smooth out any edges that you still need to smooth down because obviously the heavier grain of sandpaper is going to take off more material. And then you want to use a real fine sandpaper. Okay. And that real fine sandpaper at that particular moment in time, then it's going to um, really smooth out your vehicle. Really, really smooth. And then it's ready for painting. Okay. So with that, I hope you got something out of this. And um, hey, make sure to watch the next video. At that, uh, the next video I'm going to show you, we're going to be inserting the wheels into the vehicle. Okay. Going to be inserting the wheels into the vehicle and gluing them and securing them. All right. All right. Uh, again, uh, please subscribe. Um, visit our hashtag, go build something cool. Deke J. Wilson uh, signing off. And again, thanks for watching.